Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. It's winter wheat seeding time in western Kentucky, and I'm out in the field with a 2019 Case Age 420 Steiger four-wheel drive tractor and a Great Plains ADC 2352 air carton drill that is 35 feet wide. This big tractor and air drill are no-tilling in the 2020 winter wheat crop over corn stalks left behind by the 2019 corn harvest. No-till means that the seeds are directly placed into the soil without any type of tillage done to work up the ground or disturb the residue on the surface of the field. Interestingly, the very first no-till field ever is just two miles up the road from where we're watching this Steiger tractor and air drill working. The first no-till corn crop was put out in Herndon, Kentucky in 1962, and no-till farming has since then expanded to soybeans, winter wheat, and a variety of other crops. In this video, we'll take a look at the specifications of this 420 horsepower Case IH four-wheel drive tractor and 350 bushel Great Plains drill. I'll also climb up in the cab of the tractor and visit with the operator and see his perspective of no-tilling in this winter wheat crop across the corn stalks. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear this machinery in action. As the Steiger 420 and the Great Plains drill come across the field, we can see the nice job that the Great Plains fluted cultures do in working through this corn residue. This corn produces well over 200 bushels to the acre. There's a lot of material out here, but those fluted cultures just slice through the residue and you can see they're doing an excellent job in getting the seed down into the ground and they really can work up the soil pretty good and that's making a good seed bed out here to get next year's winter wheat crop off to a good start in these no-till conditions. As the 420 Steiger and the Great Plains drill come up this hill, we can take a look at the ground here. This is where one of the grain carts came through during corn harvest. It's really compacted. We can look down here at the soil and you know it's just it's hard. There's a lot of traffic over this area and it's gonna be pretty impressive as this drill cuts right through the compaction and gets the winter wheat seed into the soil. can step back here and take a look at the edge here and you can see the drill just cuts right down in there penetrating the soil getting the seed down into the right depth leaving a lot of residue on the surface but definitely cutting through and getting the nice penetration for next year's crop. 
Let's take a brief look at the specifications of this Steiger 420. It was introduced for model year 2014 and remains a current model in the Case I-8 Steiger lineup for model year 2019. It is manufactured by CNH Industrial at its Fargo, North Dakota tractor factory. It features an FPT 12.9 liter 787 cubic inch 420 horsepower engine. This Steiger 420 is equipped with a full power shift transmission featuring 16 forward and two reverse speeds. The 420 Steiger can also be ordered with the Case IH CVX transmission, which is a continuous variable speed transmission that doesn't require shifting between selecting speeds. This tractor is equipped with a 310 gallon diesel fuel tank and a 42 gallon DEF tank for clean engine solutions. The Steiger 420 weighs in at 40,159 pounds from the factory and can be field weighted up to almost 50,000 pounds. New for model year 2019 Case IH Steiger, Quad Track, and Road Track tractors is an upgraded air breather with a saucer top that improves filtration and air distribution into the tractor's engine. This saucer top is a quick way to identify if a Steiger is a brand new 2019 model. It is time to fill up the Great Plains ADC 2352 air drill cart. This cart is split between two 175 bushel hoppers, which has a capacity of 350 total bushels. A farm can apply 350 bushels of winter wheat seed in this case, or the tanks can be split between fertilizer and wheat seed application.
We're going to talk with the operator here a little bit about the tractor and the drill. Uh, how do you how do you like running this uh, Steiger? Oh, it's awesome. It's uh, it's comfortable. More, it's a comfortable tractor to drive. Plenty of room. Plenty of cab room. It definitely has um, plenty of space and good visibility. I know a lot of people always ask me about these big mufflers out here to the left-hand side, but from your perspective, it doesn't really block the view. It's really not in the way that that post. It's not not much more than that post in the corner. I do most of my looking out the back, anyways. Well, definitely good visibility to a 35-foot drill back there. And what do you think about the? Drill. It seems to do an awesome job cutting through this residue. I think it does a good job. I think it does a real good job. Now the, the wavy cultures, I mean, I just watched them out there cutting through compaction, cutting these stalks up. They really uh, they really turn the ground up to make a good seat bed in front of them. Double this. So that beep we just heard is we're going across the waterway here. And does that alert you to lift it up or is it well, automatic? It alerts or? you that there is a boundary. Okay. But of course, we won't, planting drilling wheat, we don't pick up across the waterways. By the time I pick up and set, I'll have to set it right back down. Sure. It alerts you that there's a boundary coming up within about 10 feet. Well, the technology is impressive on these. How many, um, how many acres a day do you try to cover with something like this? Uh, in good open fields, I can cover anywhere from 200, maybe 220, 230. Oh, that's pretty good. And how many acres between uh, refills? Depending on variety, how much, uh, how many pounds per acre we put out. Usually around uh, 140, 150 pounds to get anywhere from 67, 76 acres. Depending on if we fill the hopper completely full, stuff it as full as we can get, we'll get about 76 acres. Well, that's definitely pretty good, and we're out here in a 3,000 acre field, so that's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> that'll be a few refills between the time of starting and finishing. The less stocks, the better. One of the nice things on the new 2019 Steiger 420 is it has updated mirrors that gives you good visibility. Look down here at our back tires and the drill, and then we can look up and also see the hopper um, from that angle. And again, the operator has pretty good view over here, again, with a double, double mirror to see the action out behind the tractor. They're adjustable electronic. Really? Yeah. That's pretty neat. That's definitely got to help so you don't have to climb don't out have to, there. Yeah, because you climb out maybe three or four times to get it where you want it. Just sit here and change it right here in the seat. As we approach the headland, you can see the tractor is on auto guidance. Drills making its pass back there, getting the seat in the ground. And we'll hear a series of beeps to alert the operator it's time to turn around. I hope that you've enjoyed spending time out in this Western Kentucky field with the Case IH 420 Steiger four-wheel drive tractor and Great Plains ADC 2352 air cart and drill. 
It's always interesting to watch these big machines as they work the way across the field, no tilling in the winter wheat crop through the corn stalks. If you would like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.